just feel like I won't get you out of my mind. I feel love for the first time, and I know that it's true. I can tell by the look in your eyes. the ride of your life. Most BMW owners would be content to drive their car simple or stock straight out of the showroom like me. The difference between a stock 325 and the 325 we've got here today is added. Now this is a stock simple BMW 3 Series and at first glance people might think what's the difference? I mean they look similar enough but let me tell you they're worlds apart. First off you can notice in the front is uh, the headlights. This one's got angel eyes. These are stock. Now this one has um, a chin over here and an air duct. Mine doesn't. The reason for uh, having chins and, and air ducts and stuff, well, it's supposed to be able to give the engine more air when going at speed to cool the engine down. The chin is supposed to give a little better aerodynamic design for the car, especially, you know, when you use it for touring car races or whatever. But here in the, in the Philippines, for the purpose of this car, I think it's just for looks. These are stock 15-inch Max. These are definitely not stock. These are 19-inch mags. They're hammered, right? Although this car is sporting skirts, there's definitely nothing feminine about it. It's all about attitude. But, you know, even without the skirts, it looks fine to me. When you're driving a really fast car, it's most likely that the people watching you drive by will catch the tail end of your car. So, of course, you need to your Now, this car's got a AC Schnitzer rear spoiler and roof spoiler, as well as a M3 fin right over there. On the outside of the car, let's go check out the engine because there's definitely more to this car than meets the eye. First thing you notice when you open the hood is the Hammond strut bar. It's there to give more stability to the car. It stiffens the chassis. The next thing you'll see is the supercharger. And also down here is the intercooler. It cools the air before getting into the engine. Well, now what the supercharger does is it's sort of like a turbo, but it's like way, way heavier. Of course, when you got a strong and fast engine on your car, you have to have really good stopping power. Anything can happen on the streets of Metro Manila, so you have to be ready anytime. The brakes on this car are, well, it's still the stock BMW rotors, but they also put in the Axis Ultimate Brake Pads. It's made of a Kevlar and ceramic compound. Very good brakes for very good cars. When you first step on the accelerator, it kind of feels jerky. Like, uh, it's kind of makajot, like they say. But then, it's forgivable given the horsepower. It's 270 horsepower at the wheels. Although it feels kind of matagdag with all the modifications in the suspension, I'm surprised it's not bumpier than um, normal. Even though it's uh, got 19-inch mags and all these changes to the suspension, it's pretty okay. And the chins, though, and the skirts will make you conscious when driving over uh, rough sections or humps or whatever. As soon as your foot shifts to the brake pedal, you can almost immediately feel that the car wants to stop. 
when you have a supercharged engine it's always a good idea to equip it with uh, good brakes and this car although all BMW cars are equipped with good brakes this car went a step further and uh, added uh, Kevlar and ceramic compound brakes to the stock BMW rotors so it's not bad very good you can feel the power in the engine. You can feel it almost as soon as you step on the gas pedal. It's like, gusto ko mawala, pero nasa metro walk lang tayo, delikatong umupak-upak dito. Maybe next time I'll see you guys again and uh, we'll bring you to a track. Again, I have to stress that this BMW is not your normal 325. It's a 325 with an attitude, like me. After spending almost the entire day driving this baby around, I kind of feel sad that I have to give it up. But hey, that's life. Tricked out or simple, any car's fine with me. Again, this is Pia Bourne. I'll catch you later. Keep watching Hotwire.